Delhi recorded the season's lowest temperature at 4.4 degrees Celsius today, PTI reported. This comes as dense fog lowered visibility to 200 meters and affected traffic movement across the city. At least 19 trains were delayed by one and a half to four and a half hours due to the foggy weather, a railway spokesperson said. As per the Indian Meteorological Department, the cold wave conditions will return to Delhi on Thursday again. The Union Cabinet has approved an outlay of Rs 19,744 crore for the National Green Hydrogen Mission. Of the total outlay, Rs 17,490 crore will be allocated for strategic interventions and Rs 1,466 crore for upcoming pilot projects. The mission aims to develop green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 million metric tons per annum and create over 6 lakh jobs. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday inaugurated a 100-metre-long bridge close to Arunachal Pradesh's northern border with Tibet in the upper Siang district. The bridge over the Siam River is one of the 28 infrastructure projects taken up by the Border Roads Organisation or BRO. The projects developed at a cost of Rs 724 crore include 22 bridges and three road projects. United States President Joe Biden has re-nominated Eric M. Garcetti, the former mayor of Los Angeles, to serve as ambassador to India. Garcetti is well qualified to serve this vital role, White House Press Secretary Catherine Jean-Pierre said. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken said very recently, our relationship with India is crucial and it's consequential, Pierre added. The 21st Pune International Film Festival, PIFF, will be held from February 2nd to 9th at three venues in the city. The festival, which was to be held in the second week of January, was postponed as the dates clashed with a scheduled G20 meeting in the city. Pune International Film Festival will be jointly organized by the Pune Film Foundation and the Maharashtra government. For the very first time in 100 years, United States House of Representatives failed to elect a speaker in the first rounds of voting. Republican Kevin McCarthy's bid for the post was blocked by members of his party. McCarthy failed in three ballots to achieve 218 votes needed to become Speaker, a role second in line to Oval Office after the Vice President of the United States. During his first press conference as Al Nasser player, Portugal striker Cristiano Ronaldo said, My work in Europe is done. He added, I won everything. I played for the most important clubs in Europe. For me now, it is a new challenge here. He further said, I am so proud of making this big decision in my life and in my career.